With its gigantic dimensions, the universe far exceeds our earthly imaginations. With present technologies, we can only speculate about what might exist outside the universe visible to us. Therefore, the fact that some scientists seem to be receiving signals from a proverbial alien world is all the more sensational. What exactly hides behind this astronomical discovery, we will reveal to you in the following video. Furthermore, we would like to investigate the efforts mankind has carried out in the past in order to make potential extraterrestrial beings aware of the existence of our species. We hope you enjoy our galactic journey together. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up and subscribe to Simply Space. Get ready for many more fascinating videos in the near future. Exploring Tau Buotis In the recent past, an announcement from the world of astronomy made big headlines among the ranks of experts. Researchers reported that they may have been receiving radio emissions from a distant planet that is making its orbits around a fixed star outside our home solar system. Over the course of their work, the scientists made use of a state-of-the-art radio telescope located in the Netherlands. The object of the scientific probe were three different stars, which experts already suspected in advance served as central fixed points for some exoplanets. It didn't take long before one of the three star systems aroused the special interest of experts. That system, christened Tau Buotis, left no doubt that it does indeed contain a planet. Scientists consider it very probable that the radio signals they registered in the context of their research originated from exactly that far distant planet. This has been the background that actual measured values correlate very strongly with the theoretical predictions the experts worked out beforehand. American Jake Turner, in his position as a renowned astronomer at Cornell University, limited the growing euphoria about the sensational discovery in the same breath he revealed it. The expert involved in the research stated that scientists currently cannot say with 100% accuracy whether the received signals are actually emitted by the planet of the observed star system. According to him, it is therefore essential that the star system and the celestial body named Tau Buotis B be studied in more detail. Preparations for the research project To prepare for the investigation of the star system, which is about 51 light-years away from our blue home planet, astronomers used an ingenious trick. They first examined the radio emissions of the planet Jupiter, and then the measurement results and values obtained were modified in such a way that they could be transferred to a distant exoplanet with a remote fixed star. Those transferable results were then compared with the values obtained by experts during the investigation of Tau Buotis B. The received radio emissions of this celestial body could not be the only provable radio signals of an exoplanet in the history of astronomical research. Accordingly, experts consider it possible that they could have received signals from the star Upsilon Andromedae or its planet. However, since the corresponding readings were even weaker and more vague than in the case of Tau Buotis b, scientists are still exercising cautious restraint for the time being before the phenomenon is examined in more detail. Why the study of radio waves is so important. At this point, the question could arise why the investigation of radio waves of strange planets enjoys such an unusual esteem in the world of astronomical research. This is because measured values of such a kind can help scientists to draw a more precise picture of the structural condition of exoplanets and their direct environment. For example, the study of radio waves plays a role that should not be underestimated in deciphering the corresponding magnetic fields of celestial bodies. The intensity of the magnetic fields in turn has a direct influence on the prevailing conditions on the planets themselves. As a reminder, the magnetic field of our Earth serves to protect our atmosphere, without which, as we know, life could not have formed on our home planet. However, for modern science,
The direct study of magnetic fields of distant celestial bodies is still quite complicated. For this reason, the particular focus of researchers is on studying radio emissions, which, as briefly mentioned above, will allow them to build a scientific bridge to the nature and intensity of magnetic fields. It'll probably be some time before experts can say with certainty where the radio signals actually come from. However, if the theory that the collected data actually originate from Tau Buotis B proves to be true, this would be tantamount to an astronomical Big Bang. Never before have scientists succeeded in recording radio emissions from exoplanets. We're curious to see what the results of the continuous investigations will bring in the future. While we've now dealt with which signals of foreign planets we could possibly collect on Earth, we would like to turn the galactic tables at this point. We will now look at the efforts representatives of mankind have already made in order to make potential life forms in the infinite expanses of the universe aware of the existence of our species. The Arecibo Message It is November 16, 1974, when a few scientists under the care of astrophysicist Frank Drake launch what is still a unique endeavor to this day as part of the so-called Arecibo message, named after the location of its starting point, the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, experts took the potentially foolhardy step of transmitting a terrestrial message to possible alien life forms in the universe. Using radio waves, experts wanted to give the aliens some information about humanity's way of life and background, as well as about the Earth itself. The globular cluster M13 which is located in the constellation Hercules, and thus about 25,000 light-years away from our blue home planet, was chosen as the target point of this extraordinary undertaking. Since there are more than 300,000 individual stars within this gigantic, globular cluster, the experts of the time hoped to find an inhabited celestial body in the midst of such a densely populated space. At its core, the Arecibo message contained various binary codes and consisted of a total of 1,679 bits. However, this method of transmission required the potential recipient to have a sound knowledge of mathematics. Thus, the aliens would not have been able to comprehend the message sent by Earth at first glance, but would have had to first break down the received code into its prime factors and then rearrange it in image form. But what information about humanity our state of knowledge, and about our planet itself, did the experts choose? The Content of the Arecibo Message The first paragraph of the Arecibo Message dealt with the numbers from 1 to 10, common knowledge for us. With the help of differently colored squares, the aliens were thus to be taught the basic rules of the simplest numeric sequences. The next section of this unique message dealt with chemical elements. Thus, the contained number sequence 167815 stood for the chemical materials hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, as well as phosphorus. The background here was that the aforementioned elements represent enormously important components of our planetary biochemistry and also describe those materials that form human DNA. While the following paragraph dealt with nucleotides, or in other words, the detailed building blocks of our DNA. The fourth paragraph dealt with the structure of our genetic material. The first paragraphs of the Arecibo message thus provided a quite comprehensive first impression of the biochemical nature of our species, and the following passage made a bow to human anatomy. Here, the average shape of an adult person was conveyed in the rough sketches. In addition, the corresponding section contained information about the total number of the world's population. Afterwards, the aliens could look at a diagram of our solar system, on which the individual planets as well as the Sun in their approximate size relations and distances were represented. Last but not least, researchers decided to reveal some information about the Arecibo Observatory and its technical equipment. Responses and Criticism Although astronomers placed great hopes in their extraordinary undertaking, we have yet to receive an answer to our terrestrial message to this day. 
If one follows the statements of some experts, the efforts of scientists were doomed to failure from the beginning anyway, even if the message had been received by extraterrestrial life forms. On the one hand, there was criticism about the comprehensibility of the Arecibo message. It might simply have been too difficult for extraterrestrials to decode such a message of mathematical procedures. In addition, the Arecibo message would have had to have been received in its entirety. If some bits of our terrestrial message were lost along the journey, the human call to the universe would not have been comprehensible. Apart from this objective criticism of the Arecibo message, however, voices were also raised expressing great concern about the content of the message addressed to extraterrestrials. If the comprehensive information about our species and our home planet were to fall into the hands of hostile aliens, it would be all too easy for aliens to identify potential weak points and attack the Earth. Fortunately, the alien invasion has so far failed to materialize. What do you think about our video? Feel free to write us your feedback in the comments. See you next time.